Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions for week 33. Week 32, summing them up on a couple of key games that weren't supposed to go the way they were obviously meant to go, the way they, obviously the way they were supposed to go. I think the biggest one was Man City Liverpool. Liverpool is the four now at the Etihad Stadium. Uh, well, only Liverpool can answer that. But anyway, a load of games to predict, so let's go straight down to this. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more, give us a little big fun fun you enjoy it. Thank you for watching, and let's go. So the first goal we have to kick off with is Norwich versus Brighton. Now, Norwich have got to win five games out of the last six uh, I can't see Norwich doing that, I think Norwich are already down I'm going up against a, a good Brighton side I think since Premier League restart I, you know they've picked four points up of the last five games uh, four points sorry out of the last three games since Premier League restart Obviously losing to United at, at the MX, but you know it's a different United side who got against Bournemouth this weekend. But anyway, back to this game. Norwich vs Brighton. I'm going to predict a two-nil Brighton win. My next one is Leicester versus Crystal Palace. Now Leicester are a team that you know do have their good games and then they do have their bad games. They're a bit of a 50-50 team this season, especially since Premier League restart. So, going up against a Palace team that I think just might do slightly better in this game, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Palace win. My next one is Man United versus Bournemouth. Man United obviously beating Brighton. Drawing against Tottenham, I can't remember that game I'm missing how I got on. But relegation Bournemouth do go to Old Trafford this weekend after a big defeat. Who, who did Palace, and uh, not Palace, sorry, who did Bournemouth have that big defeat to? I can't remember who it was. Um, but, you know, you guys can correct me. Um, but for this one, I'm going to go for a 3 now Man United win. My next one is Wolverhampton Wanderers versus Arsenal. Now Wolverhampton Wanderers are one of them teams that very much look in the balance of qualifying for Europe again. Which fair play to Wolves, not easy doing it two years back to back. Going up against an OK Arsenal side. Uh, Arsenal did beat Sheffield United. Arsenal did lose to Brighton. Yeah, their this game. I think Arsenal are gonna struggle. And I'm gonna go for a 3 1 Wolves win. My next one is Chelsea versus Watford. Now Watford are yet again a team that are in that relegation battle. Chelsea looking for top four spot. Very two different teams in the way this Caesars turned out. Watford are a team that were my dark horses the last season and started off as my dark horses for this season but then that very quickly went away. I don't know what's gone wrong at Watford but something ain't obviously gone right from the start. That's why they're in the trouble that they're in. Chelsea do a Frank doing a great job with Chelsea. Yeah again I'm going to ditch Chelsea win. And I'm going to predict a 2-1 Chelsea win. My next one is Burnley versus Sheffield United. Burnley are a team of, you know, with Red Six B Rats are a middle team, if you know what I mean. Sheffield United, yet again, are a team looking for the Open League places. And it'll, it'll be very tough for Sheffield United if they do accomplish that. As far as the game goes, 
Purple is not the easiest place to go to with fans or without fans. I'm going to predict a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Newcastle versus West Ham. Now West Ham did get a big three points at home to Chelsea. 3-2 win. VAR decision going against West Ham. Obviously you can all have your opinions on that as well. Please feel free to put it down in the comments below. I know a lot of you thinking about VAR and you know it's a VAR um, I think it's Champions League with City. But you know obviously as I said I'll have your opinion on that. Newcastle are a very dangerous team since the Premier League we start in my opinion. As far as this game goes, I'm going to go for a Newcastle win, just about, and I'm going to go for a 1-0 Newcastle win. My next one is Liverpool versus Aston Villa. Now Liverpool are a team of very much of, you know, losing 4-0 to City, but I think they bounced back this weekend. I can't see Villa being any real danger for Liverpool. I'm going to go for a 3 0 Liverpool win. The next one is Southampton versus Manchester City. Southampton are yet again a very dangerous team since the Premier League restart. Man City beating Liverpool 4 0. They ain't got nothing to really challenge for in the league now obviously the main prize is done I'm gonna go for a bit of a shock with this one I'm gonna go for a 2-1 Saints win my last one for this weekend is Spurs versus Everton Spurs are I think they will make the top four but they're gonna have to beat teams like Everton at home I very much do think that Everton can cause shocks and speak of Everton they launched a new kit for that season today as I'm recording this. I'm gonna go for a one all scoreline for that one. But anyway guys if you enjoyed this video give it a big fat thumbs up. Thanks for watching. If you already know when my midweek editions will be up, they'll probably most likely be up on Monday before the Spurs Everton game. So make sure you subscribe to my channel for that. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.